Hey everybody, I decided to create a couple more things for my collection. Uh, just another way to show the images here. What you're looking at here is the full color version uh, and these are direct compares against the exact same XY coordinates. Uh, there is no transition between these two so you can actually compare original to original and, uh, and then I've got it in full color version and infrared. So here's what's up. So the reason why we see Michelangelo's uh, painting, the reason why you see Michelangelo's painting and he's got it in such a weird contraption like this that you see, the way that it's this, uh, this red thing like this, okay? No brain is actually shaped like that. And that's because he, what he did was he combined the infrared version of the Orion Nebula and that is that makes the outline of his painting. And then for the internal parts, he painted the full color version. Okay? Now, what you have to do is you have to realize that <laughs> you need to throw away what you think is possible and what's not possible because we're not in Kansas anymore. Okay? So what he did was he painted the Orion Nebula in infrared, and that is what you see right here, down here. The same lines that you see with the arc and everything. Uh, and this extrusion over here on the upper right, which no brain actually has. Okay, let's just take a look at the outline first and we'll take a look at the full color version. What I've done is I've snipped off the pieces that don't really matter that much because the parts that we're really interested in looking at is the outline of this object right here. Uh, and if you notice, the same bow shock arc comes down, it dips up and then comes back down and I've combined the left side uh, for a comparison right here where they both come up and back down and then the extrusion you see on the upper right side is right there as well and if you can see I've actually also combined these as well. You'll notice the folds in this right here come back around the folds come back around this here as well and you can see how they both they both come up like this. So this is the way he uh, he drew it in infrared. This is what he used to paint the outline. Now when we come up here to the full color version, you're going to be interested in looking at the internal parts of this Orion Nebula, which is what he painted. And, uh, and so God's arm right here, if you just want to look at it from an overall view without looking at the uh, sections of the painting right now, um, I might ask you to, to just take a look at his arm and take a look at the people over here on the side. You'll notice that his arm follows the same path. She's right in the middle of it. And there's a couple people over here as well, just like we have in the painting. Now what I've done is I've zoomed in here on this area. I want you to take a look at his arm again. And you're going to notice that his arm passes the same place on the Y coordinate of the frame and it dips below the same place in the X coordinate of this. Her face is located in the same place. You'll notice that her eyes follow the same uh, horizontal line all the way through. Her face is the same width. Okay. And this boy right here that you see, uh, this bright area right here is the bridge of his nose. So you have his hit one eye here, one eye here, mouth here. This is the exact same uh, X and Y coordinates that you see. So you're going to notice that there's a lot of different things that you can see that match here. And what I've done right here is I have I've shortened it a little bit more. Okay, So now you can see where his arm comes through and where it dips down. You can see that it dips down right in the same corner area. Here's another picture of her face again. These are direct compares. And then over here I've just got her by herself. Okay. Now, what I tried to capture was the this boy that's on top of God's arm right here. You're going to notice there's a shadow that there's a shadow right here above his ear and down here and it kind of it kind of creates this this shadow that goes all the way across to his back where that robe ends and a shadow down the side of his neck. So what I tried to capture was that and what I've got right next to it is I've got her the top of her head and her eyes. You can see her eyes still follow the same line right here. And her forehead and her hair 
and the and the uh, and the shadow right next behind his ear that goes all the way across that also follows the same pattern as well. So when you take a look at the two together, you have the same shadows shadows going on, and her face is in the same area for reference. Then I've got a zoom in, zoomed in version of the shadow by itself. Okay, so then what I've also done is I've created a black and white version because some people like the details of this more, some people don't. Here we go again. Just want to look at the top of them together. Here we go. Here she is again with her face and the arm that goes down next to her. Okay. And then what I've done here is I've showed the uh, the lines of the the bow shock and the Orion Nebula and what it creates down here versus the painting. And then what I've really what I've done is I created a separate one to show you that since he painted the uh, Orion Nebula outline using infrared and with the col full color version he painted the internal parts, I combined the two together and that is right here. So what I did was I took an infrared version that you see right here which creates the outline of that painting he did and that extrusion that's up here on the right that's on his painting and then I took the full color version and I knocked up the contrast just a little bit so you can see because uh, when I combine the two together uh, if I don't have the lines strong enough you're not going to be able to see one inside the other so what I did was I combined the two which you see right here and what I used to line everything up with was the top pieces right here this top area and that allowed the bow shock on both of them to line up just right as you see right here now so when you zoom in okay when you take a look at all of them and you zoom in you'll notice that uh, you have you have her with the arm passing by her and the people and then you have that extrusion over here on the right just like you do the painting and that's what Michelangelo did he combined and so you can see because the bow shock is following is, is, is positioned right where it should be right on top of the bright spot with this head lined up and when you've got it that way Everything falls into place as well as the extrusion here on the right. So you have that extrusion, the three people, his arm and her head, the arm, her head, you know, these, these people and the extrusion over here on the right. It's all, it all lines up, see. So I just wanted to show you what I did. I'm, gonna, I'm adding these to my collection on Facebook. So um, you guys take care and I will talk to you soon.